everyone, my name is Miss Petrie and today I am going to be teaching you how to make gluten-free banana bread. So, I have all the ingredients with me, but I'm gonna be showing you as I make it. First thing you need is a blender. In your blender, you're gonna need, need two spotty bananas. So put these in. One and two. Next, you're gonna need your two eggs. Break those, try not to get the shells in it. One and two. Perfect. Next, you're going to need about two cups of oats. Put that right in there. I use these large flake oats, but you can really use any type because they're gonna be blended down anyway and it's going to make banana bread. So it doesn't really matter, but I have that. So you add those. So what I really like about this recipe, besides the fact that it's gluten-free, is that it doesn't use a lot of sugar. So next you're gonna add about a quarter cup of maple syrup. I use this one. It doesn't matter what brand you use, but this is what's gonna help sweeten it. Next, you're going to add a dash of vanilla extract, however much you think is good. And next, you are going to do one teaspoon of baking soda. Add that on top. <laughs> You're going to add a pinch of salt. Now, this next step is completely optional. If you have a nut allergy, just completely avoid this step. But I like to add a third cup peanut butter into it because I am a huge peanut butter fan and I just think it's amazing. You can use any type of nut butter if you'd like, almond butter, anything like that, natural peanut butter, creamy peanut butter, chunky, completely up to you. But again, also you can just eliminate it if you don't wanna use it. Another key ingredient I think is a dash of cinnamon. It tastes so good. Just add that little extra something to banana bread. So add that on top as much as you want again. All preference. What you're going to do next is blend. It might take a couple tries because it's pretty thick. As you can see, a lot of the oats are on the bottom. So I suggest trying to mix it for a little bit, stir it around, mix it until it's nice and smooth. Once your batter starts to look like this, liquidy, you can stop blending it and grease your pan. I like to use Pam greasing spray. It's just a preference, but you can use also butter or olive oil, anything like that. But just wipe it around like this and make it all greasy because the last thing you want is for your banana bread to stick to your pan. After greasing your pan, make sure you wash your hands because they're going to be awfully greasy. And then you can add, again, optional, but you can add your chocolate chips. I like to add semi-sweet chocolate chips to mine, but if you like milk chocolate or straight up dark chocolate, that's great, or you don't have to add anything at all. So as you see, I'm just adding a little bit to the blender and I'm gonna add a few on top. But now that I've added that to the blender, I'm going to give it a little mix, just so the chocolate chips can go inside. After you mix your chocolate chips into your batter, you can put it on your baking tray. I know you can't see the tray right now, so I will show you it in one second. Just make sure all the batter gets out. So it is now in the tray, as you can see. So I'm gonna top it again with some chocolate chips, just on the top. So now you can see I added the chocolate chips on top. I'm now going to stick it in my oven at 350. The oven's already preheated, it's all ready to go. I'm gonna put it in for about 30 to 35 minutes. I'm gonna check on it and we'll come back to you when that is ready to be checked. Then you take it out, you check with a toothpick. If nothing comes off the toothpick, then it is ready. Then you take it out and there is your delicious banana bread. <laughs> 